Well, it sort of saves every like 10 minutes anyway, so... Still, would have been good to save. Idiot. Alright, streaming. The best thing to do. Uh, so, where were we? Uh, let's see. We have a base. Are we doing any missions? We appear to be doing that mission still. Okay, well that won't take long to fix up. Um, and apparently we've still got that alarm going, which is never going to be turned off. Because that is the life we live. Constantly alarmed. One day we'll be on green alert. We'll never be on green alert. Green alert is for people who have hope. Oh, look at these guys. They're admiring the uh, shiny thing. Everyone should admire the shiny thing. Alright, how are we going? 47 seconds? Yeah, that'll be fine. Actually, I don't know if I actually got this guy last time. I think I was very close. No, I did get him, because I needed to get the uh, Russian crime boss who was just wandering around. At some point, we'll... Here we go. Does China still have a chairman? I don't know. Oh, no, that's not him. Maybe that's him landing now. Or maybe that's my own men coming back. Either way, I don't really know where everything's happening. You can probably go steal. I think we're going to go steal some money, get that reserves up. Hmm. No, the guy I'm looking for is clearly not there. Is that him? No, that's the Yakuza boss. Which is clearly not him. Uh, let's see, there's some ninja. They're not very good. Uh, there is an investigator just wandering in the middle of nowhere with one of my construction workers. Uh, but still no sign of the Mafia crime boss. Sorry, the Russian Mafia crime boss. Couple of anvil burglars trying to do whatever they're trying to do. I like how this guy just goes through my entire base. Like, he just has a sweet time just walking through my entire base. No one tries to stop him. Uh, okay, so we're going to steal a bit of money for a while, and then I think we will... We don't particularly need the money right now, but I imagine we will very soon. Task complete. I don't think I was dropping anyone off, so... Oh no, that was my technician, that's right. Um... Now, where is that Mafia Russian guy? He just isn't here. You just can't get good Russians these days. They never show up when you want them. Oh, there he is, actually there. Uh, but no one is around to see him. Which is frustrating. I mean, a technician sees him, and the technician doesn't really give a damn... Well, okay, that's fine. <laughs> we'll just let him be on his merry way, I suppose. Uh, and we do need to do some evil missions soon just to get my notoriety up. Because right now I'm mostly harmless, and that's just insulting. What we could do is steal a super suit. It's not a super suit at all, it's a space suit. Quite a different thing. Forces on your island are engaged in fighting? Really? Who are you fighting? 
Actually, you know what might work is these guys were fighting someone. I don't know why. Okay, what I might do is I might get uh, Stupe. Where is Stupe? Oh, that's right. Stupe is currently in doing a mission somewhere else. He's over in America stealing money for us. Oh! One of my construction workers found Stupe. Oh, sorry. The Russian crime lord and. didn't really do much to him. But at least he tried. You know, he gets an award for trying. Okay, we're gonna start doing some thievery missions. You know, I think we need even more guards. I think we just need a lot of guards. 20 workers, 20 guards, sure. I mean, guards will do most of the work anyway. We don't need as many yellow shirts as we have. Uh, where is Jupe? Is he back yet? He's back. Where is Jupe? Oh, he's coming the wrong way. Okay. Alright, there he goes. I don't think he can die to this guy, but we'll see in a moment, I suppose. Gonna start with an evisceration. Surrender is not honorable, you're quite right, Jubei. Okay, he should win this one. I mean, he's not really fighting us, so... Oh, he's actually fighting us now. It's kind of too late, though. Yes, good work, Jubei. This is what we hired you for, to conduct our evil schemes. This guy's just going to hang out in the freezer. I don't, know, I don't know what he's up to. He's just hanging out in the freezer. I get the feeling I'm about to lose some people. I didn't. But I get the feeling I may need to start shooting these people. Actually, can we... We can psychologically weaken them and get them out of here. Oh, that guy may actually need to be shot. Okay, look, we tried to let you survive, but you just walked into the freezer. I'm sorry, man. But now your bodies are going to be in at least the right place. Oh, he rolled. What an excellent roll. And now the body bags are in the freezer. I don't know why we keep them in the freezer. That's kind of a weird place to keep a dead body, but... Yeah... I suppose. Okay, let's go steal a spacesuit. Do you want to steal a spacesuit? And probably kill a guy. Okay, so we're just going to plot for a while. Um, okay. Now we need to interrogate this guy in the mixing bowl. Which sounds a lot weirder ahead of time, well, now. But yes, we're going to interrogate him in the mixing bowl because the game specifically tells me I have to interrogate that man in the mixing bowl. <laughs> Welcome to Evil Genius, where you interrogate men in a mixing bowl. Okay, we're just taking him for a walk. We're going to take you for a nice meal, buddy. It's like, are you just escorting me back out of the base? No, not quite. We're just taking you to the lunchroom. He's going to love it. He's like, why am I here? Am I being forced to cook for you? Nope, you're getting in the mixing bowl. No, seriously? Am I getting in the mixing bowl? You're getting in the mixing bowl. I don't really want to get... Oh, I'm in the mixing bowl. Well, life is not as good as it could have been. I do love the spin, just going, bye-bye. <laughs> yes. This is how we will mix you. Oh, there's a fracking ninja in here. 
Why are there ninjas? Where did these ninjas come from? Ah, oh, damn it. The ninjas, they saved him temporarily. Well done, ninjas. Well done. And this, kids, is why you do not let ninja roam your base. It's alright. It's alright. There will be no more ninja after today. The ninjaing will be over. Okay, it's time to steal a spacesuit. This should actually be a pretty easy mission. Although Patriot does not like me a lot right now. Maybe I shouldn't have started this mission. Oh well, too late now. Excellent. We will have a spacesuit. Space, space, want to go to space, 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 planets, gam planets, gammas, planets, stars, galaxies, Orion. Want to go to space, 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 want to be in space, space. All right, enough of talking about space. We have to interrogate this guy properly this time. I'm really worried Patriot's going to come in with a large number of soldiers now, though. Because I've really angered Patriot. Well, we'll see. If Patriot comes in with a large number of men, well, that's a Patriot sign right there. Is that Patriot? Yeah, it's definitely Patriot. It is a pathetic soldier. Okay, it's a soldier. But it's a pathetic soldier. But soldiers have the problem that they shoot on sight. So we're going to prepare to shoot them. Just in case something goes wrong, we need to be prepared. But anyway, we stole a spacesuit, and there it is, in our treasury. Yes. So now we're starting to steal things, which is good. I'm going to try and get that guy to leave my base. Just get the valets to sort of clean him up. Eventually they get confused and walk out, or they fall asleep. That decreased his attention. So yeah, with a decreased attention, eventually he'll just walk away. Oh, don't go into that room. Okay, we're going to have to kill that guy. Unfortunately, no one's around who can actually kill that guy. Oh, now he's in trouble. Good. Good work. Okay. We're still mixing him. Oh. Oh dear. These are Patriot burglars. They're after the spacesuit. Do not let them get the spacesuit, men. Thankfully, we've got a lot of pistols. Nothing that particularly stops them, though. Uh, there's only one Patriot Burglar left. And, okay, that's all the Patriot Burglars gone. And that is why you do not want to have super high heat, because that'll ha keep happening. Because higher level of Patriot, or higher levels of uh, soldiers or whatever do not really care about shooting you. So what did I lose? A guard, some workers. The workers will come back. That's not a problem. I mean, workers are free, so... Okay, do we blow the gold up? I think we should, but I think we should leave it for the moment. I would like to blow the gold up. Uh, I need spin doctors to get that priceless model, which I have no spin doctors. 
So I'm going to need spin doctors in the sort of near future. Um, we'll get spin doctors though, don't you worry. Uh, we haven't gone to Japan yet, let's get someone in Japan. Task complete, excellent. So does that mean we've now mixed them sufficiently? Oh, here he is, coming into the room. Excellent. What's our new objective? Uh, we need to get a CIA agent who has gone into... Okay, I need to be more notorious. Well, we can do that. It's no worries. That's something we're sort of working on now. We are still mostly harmless. So in other words, not notorious at all. But, you know, we'll get there. We can't get that. We've already discussed that. Uh, two valets, one technician, one guard. That one's easily enough, and they'll give us five notoriety. And we can probably get some notoriety with Sabre right now fairly safely. So, yeah. One technician, two valets, a guard. And we'll get some workers just to, you know, make things interesting. And now the table is filling up with crime lords. Brilliant. It's what we always wanted. Lots of crime lords. Uh, there's a helicopter coming through. I think that's just my uh, scientists there to do like some scouting. Everything's sort of going fairly well in my base. It's fairly calm. Oh, except for the fact there are soldiers outside. That That is a problem. Aside from the soldiers, life is okay. Okay, Jube, where are you? You need to be there right now. Okay, well that would get rid of, rid of one of them. Jube, you are the best assassin. Jube, you killed them all. Jube, you've got a sword made of steel. Jube. Um, song words. At some point when I get enough notoriety, I'll, oh, oh wait, hang on, what's this? Take guard hostage. Oh, it's another guard. Oh. Um, that's not super useful. We don't really want more guards. Oh, we do, but I'd rather something other than guards. And the guard is taking a nap at the moment. He's trying to hide from me, but we can see him. We can see you. It's a good thing that we don't care that you're taking a nap, though. One thing I would like to do probably is get another freezer rack. Just chuck that down there. I think we've got too big a freezer, actually. I mean, we could always decrease the size of the freezer and put something else in there, but... Nah, we'll keep the big freezer. Actually, one thing I want to do as well while I'm thinking about it is get another security camera and put it up here. It's not really that big a deal, but we've only got one there, so if they get past that, then we really want to have, like, another one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch that to be... I was going to switch to be a 2, but I'd need a 2 control panel and that would be a problem. So you know what? No, we're fine. Okay, let's do a mission. In the drink. We're going to destroy the tea. Because that would piss them off. There's nothing like pissing off the British by destroying their tea. 
That's pretty much starting a war, actually, now that I think about it. But you know what? Sometimes you need to start a war with Britain to destroy their tea. I mean, what else would you do with your life if you weren't pissing off Britain? You know what I mean? You'd be doing everything wrong. I like how these two body bags are just here, as if, like, oh, they're close enough to be in the right place. Let's actually put them in the freezer properly. Can we, or are they just permanently bugged? Oh. Hello, Delhi. This is Abdul Ayn Sky, reporting on traffic from the top of an elephant. From up here, I can see a tailback ahead caused by a sacred car in the road. There is also a tailback behind me caused by, well, by my elephant. Moving on to news from the subcontinent, the evil mastermind has struck again, despite the best efforts of Sable's colonial forces. Good. So we have just done a basic mission of infamy, no real reason for it, and also we're going to start stealing a vase because how many vases do you have? I'm willing to bet not as many as this guy's about to have. Hmm. Okay, so we're going. That's creating a Cuban missile crisis. That's kind of funny, kind of evil. Um, but I mean, you know, I don't think that ever happened in real life, so I don't think it's really a problem. I joke, of course. I do know the Cuban Missile Crisis was a terrifying thing. Uh, okay. We need to start looking in Egypt. Do we have any spare technicians? We do. We'll do that after we get this. Oh, we're out of technicians, actually. Oh, then I'll just... Okay, so we stole a beautiful Babylonian vase. Well, if they didn't want it stolen, they shouldn't have put it in a place where I could find it. That's my logic. It's not very good logic. Oh, what have we got here? Uh, a repairman. We don't really need a repairman. A samurai sword swindle and the stabilized stock market. None of those things are particularly particularly want to do, but... Actually, you know one thing we haven't done is we haven't gone down into Antarctica to see if there's any missions there. Nor have we gone to Siberia, which I'm pretty sure Siberia is not that big. Oh well, that's fine. Oh, we found something. What did we find? Oh, I think we knew of that before. Uh, oil leak. Yeah. Okay, new technicians are being created as we speak. What does that sign mean? Minions working. How many minions do I have that are idle? I like the sound of minions, like, turning into something else. Just like their bones just cracking horribly. <laughs> There's an investigator in this room where a guard is just asleep. So dumb. He just doesn't care. Oh, we found something else here. What would we find? We found a few things, actually. Another maid. We could steal a rug. Um... Yeah, I suppose we could steal a rug. Burn a national forest. That is pretty horrible. Um, yeah, Australia is not known for natural forests, so we should burn down a natural forest. Makes no sense. Uh, I understand that forest fires or bushfires in Australia are actually really freaking scary. Uh, actually, let's go get an oil leak done. And, you know what? Let us burn down a forest. Let us piss off everyone at once. Security 
Is it? Oh, okay, I did not know uh, it was that big. Well, my mistake. I thought... Okay, Siberia is rather big. I always thought Siberia was just like this area just over here. But... Okay. Uh, we have uh, exceptional investigators in, which means they're usually trying to kill people. But thankfully, we killed them first. And by the way, hello. Um... Hmm. That should have appeared on the top of the window. Don't know why it didn't. Oh, there it is. Is it really? Oh, okay. Look, never mind. Siberia. Actually, now it should be appearing on chat. Okay, I was one line too short. Um, okay, Siberia is rather big. I did not know it was that much of Russia. Thank you for the... Whoa. That's right, I'm doing a whole bunch of missions at once. Um... Okay. Thank you. I... Huh. Okay, yeah. I See, I always thought Russia was just like this bit over here. Um, I was not aware that... It, well, yeah, I thought it was like this bit. I didn't know what quite was over here. I mean, I knew it was Russia, but... I didn't know it was like... All of Russia, you know? Or rather, all Siberia. Um... Jeez, and here I am saying I think I have good world geography. Clearly I do not. Um, this person needs to be escorted out. But that person, these people just need to leave. We don't need to kill them. I mean, there's evil and there's just killing people for the fun of it. Both of which are fun, but... You know. Uh, we need more notoriety. It's just not happening at the moment. A large number of men just left our base, though. To go do evil missions. Uh, and we will get to these missions at some point. But, you know, it hasn't happened yet. Look at those guards that are just leaving. That boat is just going to be full of minions. Oh, and some fish! I didn't know this game had fish! Wow. Low res fish. <laughs> How exciting! Alright, we should be ready to start missions now. Okay, we're going to cause an oil leak. How long will that take? That'll take another 50 seconds. I think these guys might just go into hiding for a moment. So that way we don't get two news reports at once. Oh yeah, oil leak. This is truly evil. Whoa! A lot of people just died there. It's alright. We'll get them back. They're pretty free and cheap. Free and or cheap, rather. There'll probably be a joke about someone being in the Sahara Desert. In the Middle East. Even though Sahara's not even in the Middle East. trouble has been caused by the evil organization. That is what I like to hear and do. Hear and do, really. And this will be a very obvious Australian guy going, G'day mate, I'm Australian! Because that's predictable. Oh, there's something over here. There's a frozen man. Probably steal that too at some point. Good day, Australia, and welcome to the news. Called it. The breaking news concerns the global crime wave that is now washing over our own fair shores. 
It is Gus's latest atrocity. We have Saber's chairman on the line. Now, Mr. Chairman, why didn't Saber prevent this? We did everything in our power to... Oh, don't come the raw prawn, mate. Just admit that Saber's out of its league here. Well, really. Yeah, so that was obviously going to be some, like, vaguely racist thing towards Australians. Actually, to New Zealanders as well, because I am not going to listen to an Australian radio station, thank you very much. I've got better things to do with my time than listen to Australians. Uh, that's a joke, of course, I have nothing against Australians. Um, okay, we're just trying to get these guys out of our base without killing everything. Um, and we're going to manage that eventually. Like, my valet should start taking people out of the base now. There goes one guy. So what we're doing now is we're not actually injuring them, we're just confusing them and just walking them out of our base. Which is a very good way of actually dealing with people humanely. Um, but it's something we're going to be doing a lot more of as time goes by as well, but for now, it's not something we actually necessarily have to do. I mean, there's another one being walked out of our base. He's probably going to be walked out of our base soon. He's shining the shoes of a ninja. Okay, have we got that mission that we want to take yet? No, because we accidentally pulled that guy out. That's alright. Uh, should we steal another vase? I think we should steal another vase. You can never steal too many vases. Or vases, if you'd like to say that. I don't particularly want to, but you can. And there are a whole bunch of minions. Also, a lot of my computers have just been left empty. But I imagine a lot of the guards will go and deal with that. One thing that does concern me is I'm not actually getting a lot of money right now. We could probably steal some from the Midwest. So let's get some money. Let's get send five guards and a valet there. That'll keep the heat down a bit. Uh, where else do we go? Do we go Anvil? I think we can go some men to Anvil. Yeah, let's send some men to Anvil. Because that'll give me some money. Okay, she needs to die. I think Jubei should be the one that has to do it as well. She did not expect a samurai to just come out of nowhere. I think no one ever really expects a samurai to just come out of nowhere. Just you're having a good day and all of a sudden there's a samurai. I was like, oh shit, not again. As one often says when a samurai attacks them. Not again. Um, we are now known as being sly, but I think we need to do more evil missions. So, let's plot in Europe, because I feel like that would be good. Um, can we do another mission in, in the Middle East? We can. Six workers, two valets, two guards. I've got that sort of numbers. Although that has left my base very undermanned. It's probably okay though. I don't think we particularly need a lot of men right now. But yeah, our base is quite severely undermanned. That's alright though, this is how you get to be in the big leagues. You leave yourself completely undermanned and in a dangerous position. That's how you do it. I mean, it's how I'm doing it. Is he going to see that guy and, like, lure him out of the base? No, he's just going to take a nap. Is he going to take a nap? He's just taking a nap. Brilliant. I really thought that guy was going to do something. But nope, it became nap time. Okay.
Stealing a vase. This is gonna make uh, Anvil really angry, though. But you know what? Who cares? Who cares what Anvil thinks? They're not even a real organization. How's it going? 21 seconds. Yes. Good, good. And money is being stolen around the world. Good work. Crime Lord, yes, that's something we definitely need to get. It's why we're here in the first place. And we're just stealing some money as well. We're at 88,000. Oh, a guy's just landed. What is he? He's a poor infiltrator. Well, good for him. Pathetic infiltrator. This guy's just confused standing at the entrance of my base. Are you just standing here? He's like, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Can I go home? I'm like, no, not really. He's like, yeah, I didn't really want to go home anyway. Which is convenient because no one was gonna let him go home, so. Uh anyway, so we've got This is a risk two mission. I don't know if we've done any risk twos yet. I feel like they're all risk ones. Yeah, I don't know about this mission. This mission could go very, very badly. Oh, that was a risk two mission. Never mind. But we did lose a lot of people on that Australian mission. Yeah, they were killed by drop bears mostly. And no one wants to be killed by drop bears. Because drop bears are quite obviously one of the most evil things in existence. Well, a bunch of men are going to a mission. Good. Good work, men. This is what I pay you for. Actually, I don't pay you when I think about it. But it's why you're in my base in the first place. That's what I have you for. And choose not to pay you. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that. There was a guy in my base. He's just poisoned himself to death. That idiot. Everyone just sort of stands around, just goes, yeah, right, oh, we probably should stop that guy. You don't want to be killed by a drop bear, those things are deadly. You kidding me? Those things are like, they fall from heights of like, three, four meters? And they just kill people. I think about a hundred Australians are killed every day to a drop bear. Just one drop bear alone. So just think how many drop bears there are in the world, there's like, a thousand to twenty thousand drop bears? I mean, wait, hundred Australians. That means approximately, even though my math is probably failing me, I can't remember what I, how many men a drop bear kills. I imagine two hundred thousand Australians are killed every day by drop bears. You don't want that. It's bad. It's a lot of bears. A lot of death. A lot of death. Anyway. We're doing another international crime mission thing.
and a lot of our computers are not running at the moment. Just got to keep it going. It's all we need to do. Hey, we have a hundred thousand dollars. Brilliant. I suppose that's true. I mean, all of Australia would be inhabited if it wasn't for the large number of drop bears killing everyone. Because I think Australian women have 8 to 20 children per woman. And I believe Australian women develop fast, so they start having children at like 3, 4 maybe? I don't really know. Australia is a weird place. Oh, that guy actually has to die. Because that guy is an exceptional infiltrator. Actually, what bothers me is he's an exceptional infiltrator. There's usually some other exceptional people around. I don't see anyone else particularly dangerous on the island. I'm still worried though. Well, we managed to kill that guy. That's all matters. And this infiltrator's sort of lost, so she's just going to be lured out. Oh, taken out of the base now. She saw nothing. <laughs> we started to lure out of the base and we saw someone else that would rather psychologically weaken. Uh, and then we stopped. Okay, 37 seconds left. This should be almost complete. Yeah, good. So all the agents in our base are idiots right now. Which is exactly what we want all agents in our base to be. Almost. Edward James, almost. Almost. Yes. I know where he went, he went here. Okay, so we've got how many more missions do we have? Uh let's see. Do 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 Oh, he's going to attack us, okay. You know what? I think we're going to red alert for this one. Do we want to red alert? If we're being attacked, I think you have to go red alert. You'd be foolish not to. I think I might call back all my guards as well. I mean, I don't think I'm going to have any problems killing them all, but... Yeah, better to be safe than sorry, I figure. Here we go, enemy minions. Look at them wearing red. Oh, they're climbing up from that little boat. Alright. I don't think we particularly need to go on red alert just yet. But we've got to be prepared to go on red alert. I wonder what happens to that boat though. Does the boat just float away on its own? have to keep an eye on that boat. I don't trust it. Hmm. That boat is the biggest mystery of the game. Maybe if I look away for a second and come back, it'll be gone. Nope, still there. Oh, it just vanishes. Well, that's one way to get rid of a boat. Really? Oh, it's her.
Uh, well, she has definitely come too far. And because she has come so far, she probably has to die fairly soon. Oh, one well, of my workers died. She came into the freezer and then didn't actually do anything. Alright, that's cool. Um, any minions all over the place? Yeah, you know what? Red alert. Which then means that anyone in our base will get killed. I think. Oh, maybe not her, because she's got a different tag on her. Or, no, I thought Jubei was going to kill her, but clearly Jubei doesn't care enough. Oh well, Jubei, we expected better from you. You know what, let's actually have the siren going. Just to remind me that we are at red alert. <laughs> Otherwise I will forget. This has happened before. Hmm. They're not really doing anything. They're just sort of wandering around. Wearing their stupid red. Look at him. Thinks he's so tough. I wonder if we could get Jube. He's got a, mission, a thing called gather troops. But I don't know how fast he gathers them. It really doesn't look like he did much at all. No, he really didn't do anything. Oh well. Uh. And after these two that we're getting, we might actually... Well, after this guy, we might soon be done with getting all these, uh... Crime Lords. Well, that was a foolish idea. You would just be killed. Well, all my men are back and they're all just taking naps. So they should. I think they deserve a nap. She hasn't seen anything. She came into our base and she's just like, Duh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we're going back down to yellow alert. These guys are taking their time. Really? Where to? Uh, the barracks? Oh, it was over here. It looks like someone broke their way out. He broke his way out, but he didn't particularly see anything, so that's... That's fine. I don't care if they don't see anything. Ow! Ah, excellent. Uh, we are going to need more power soon, though. I don't know why we're having little power rooms all over the place. At some point we're going to be able to research better power, so maybe we'll just hold off for the moment. Well, they're getting closer. I mean, they're still taking their sweet time, let's be honest here, but... They are still getting closer. Uh, what I might do actually is I get Jubei to come down here and gather everyone. Okay, so we gathered two workers. I wonder if he comes in here with a, he can get some guards this way. Yep. Okay. Jubei has collected a large number of soldiers. Hopefully no one triggers off those traps right now. Alright, where's Jubei? Yo Jubei, where you at? See, Jubei is ready for this. He's got a huge army with him. Mostly pistols, but some uh, rifles as well. Oh, well, look at all those guys. He's also got a valet and a technician with him. I didn't particularly want those two, but that's what I've got. Gogeta, indeed. Okay, here we go. The fight begins. They're armed with only pistols. 
I guess they weren't really expecting a samurai. But the guy I was after was none of them. So... I don't really... Is there another boat coming? Maybe there's another boat of men coming. Uh, I don't see any boats. That's my boat, I think. No? Oh! Oh, these guys are coming in the classy way. Alright. Well then, uh, I actually do want to gather all the men up again. No, I need you all with me. I literally need you all with me. Okay, that'll probably do, actually, having a lot of pistolmen. Pistolmen? Is that what you would call a guy with a pistol? Alright, well, they're going to be wiped out fairly quickly. They have, uh, they trying to kill one of my val- they've successfully- nope! They did not actually kill anyone as far as I'm aware. But, the next step they're going to try is to... I don't know, attack somewhere else. Okay, Jubei is now leveled. Now Windwalk... Does what? Oh, he does a teleport thing. That's cool. Now I believe this helicopter will be... them again. But again, we will gather the forces, including our valet, for some reason. Okay. And we go out the door. I expect to see some evil minions, as opposed to the good minions that I have. I'm not sure where their leader is. Their leader still has not shown his evil face. Yes, look at this mighty army of minions. Or as I like to call them, winions. Not to be confused with onions, because those aren't actually onions. It's a common mistake. Uh, okay, so I've just got to beat up his men, which is something that is happening very quickly. Okay, one down, uh, two down, three down, just, oh my goodness, so violent, much violence, wow. Alright, and I believe, well, given the fact that task complete, I probably believe quite accurately that that task is well complete. Oh, that guy actually saw something. I wonder if we can kill him before he gets home. Oh, it's not good that he just walked into a guy with a rifle. Okay, now we can start researching things. That'll be good. There's apparently a technology fair in uh, Japan right now, which we should go to. Because we all love a fair. We will have a love affair of fairs. As my father always said. My father never said that. Okay, here he is. Bob Barking Kane, the kingpin of London's East End. Look at him. Look at him think he's so cool. He thinks he's so cool. He's not cool though. Oh, my leader has sat down at the chair. Brilliant. So when he takes a seat, then uh, we'll get the meeting underway, I believe. I b -b believe. Uh, is that all of them, really? I was going to say, I didn't think they would be ready that soon. I mean, as we can see, they're not. They're still running along. I do like that when we uh, capture some, well, get a crime lord, they just walk into our base freely. Like, we don't stop them. They just know where to go as well, that's the best part. They know not to activate the traps. I assume he's not going to activate the trap. Yep. He has. He does the thing to make sure he doesn't activate the traps. And he just quite happily just walks through our base, 
through every part of our base into our command centre next. And we just, no one cares. Like, no one gives a shit. But anyway, now we get to see a very important part, which is the meeting. Oh, Jubei came in as well. I think this is the meeting. This is not the meeting? Yes, it is. Okay, the game just focused on it. And so this is foreshadowing for the next plan. So we're going to build a laser. And what is the laser going to do? It's going to shoot the person who attacked us. And that way they, we let them know. <laughs> I just love the evil laughter. And then we let them know that we mean business. And so that is our plan. To build a death laser in a volcano. And that will be happening uh, later. And then we let all the crime bosses go. Actually, can we kill them? What would happen if we killed them all now? Now that we've let them all know my evil plan, can we kill them? I've never tried this before. This is probably silly. Oh god, it's a massacre. But I don't think we killed them. In a carry? Oh, in a chair. Ah, uh, no, you can only burn one of them in a chair. Okay, well, we shot everyone and then they're not actually dead. So I guess these guys can't actually be killed. What we're going to do though is we're going to get uh, the... Who was the one that caused us trouble? Uh, we're going to get the Mafia Don. And then we're going to torture him because we can't... Actually, we'll go laugh at him. Meanwhile, the guards are all looking at an astronaut suit. A space suit, rather. Yeah, I would have liked to burn them all as well, but... There's only so much you can do. And I don't know why... It would have been fun if I could have actually killed these guys. I've never actually tried that before. Um, but clearly they are stronger than that. And they're kind of invulnerable. So they kind of got what they've... When I get to the super agents, you'll start seeing that sort of thing a lot more common. And it'll be a lot more annoying as well. Anyway, we're going to have to start building a research lab soon. And these things are huge. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to march down here. Can we taunt this guy? I don't know if we can taunt this guy. We can. We need to laugh at a mafia crime boss. Because that's what you should do. And then we'll just let him go. Oh, everyone's standing up again. You know, I might actually just let them go now. Because otherwise my guys will just constantly try to kill them. So now we're just laughing at a Mafia crime boss. Oh what, I get infamy for laughing at a Mafia crime boss? Hang on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop that shit now. No, 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 no. no. Stop that. Let him go. Capture this guy. Yeah, I'm okay that we set the prisoner free. He can go. Oh, he's run of the freezer room, that fool. And then we'll laugh at this guy as well and get more infamy. We'll laugh at an Indian crime lord now. Oh, we're going to lose that guard. These Patriot investigators would have seen, like, a whole bunch of crime lords leaving my lair. And you know what? I don't care. What are they going to do about it? Ding. Oh, hang on a second. We do have a problem. This guy's trying to destroy stuff. And no one's around to stop him. Oh, wait. Never mind. Jubei's around. Good old Jubei. And they're already in the freezer. Which saves us all time. In 
technicians coming along to fix the freezer rack they were shooting at. Why would you shoot at a freezer rack? That's what I don't get. Well, I may not get it, but that's what they were doing. Uh, how long until we get our research? Another minute. Another full minute. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's alright. I like this base. It's very quiet when there's no one home, though. Oh, it's gonna laugh at this crime boss. Ha 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 ha. We get a point of in for me. Brilliant. And then this guard over here. And then because you know what inspires more fear than watching. Someone gets shot in front of you. Brilliant. How glorious. And now because we've done that, we'll let you go. There you go. Just to show how much you cannot... Oh, no, I don't want to kill that guy. So now we've released him. We've laughed at him. We've shot someone in front of him. Now we can go home. Okay, now that's actually a very important thing because now that they know, now that they know I've stolen the research machine, we need them to, we need to build a fake and trick them into stealing it. And so we're going to do just that. And that's what we have this other room for. Because we're going to build a laboratory in here of all places. For a very good reason. It'll be a fake laboratory. And in this fake laboratory, we'll put a fake research machine. And at some point, someone will try and steal it. And boy, won't we look silly when they do that. Not really, because that's kind of our plan. No, thank you. I know how to play the game. Go away. All right, so now we need a research room. A proper one. So this room is going to be very expensive, but it's going to be totally worth it because this will give us some really sweet, sw sweet swag. This room is going to cost me twenty-six thousand dollars, but it's all right because it's good. All right, uh, we're going to need a door, obviously. All right. So, now a whole bunch of people will start building that. Actually, no, 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 not yet. Because there should be... Okay, we can start researching or getting new people. Full of press, what does that do? Ah, we need to send some valets there. Do we already have some valets over here? We do. Actually, we could probably do it this way. Okay, because if we fool the press, and that'll let them know uh, who has built the machine, which is us. Or who has stolen the machine, which was still us. Except we haven't actually built the room yet, so maybe we've jumped the gun a little bit too soon. Now... We well, also need to think about who to who to recruit. So we've got oh, that's a friggin' laser. Okay, so we've got Doctor Neuroside. She is okay. We've got a centrifuge in in the cargo. Well, looks like Red Ivan. We're not getting Red Ivan. Red Ivan is a very bad decision. Um, I saw the matron somewhere. The matron. I like the matron. She's pretty cool. Um, but whatever we're doing, we're not going to get uh, Red Ivan. He is too dangerous. 
Red Ivan will... He throws explosives everywhere, and that just blows up my base. It does a lot of damage, but it's not a good idea. So we're not going to do it. It's really as simple as that. So we will get Dr. Neuroside, though. No, Rocket Launcher is not good decision. Rocket Launcher is how you set fires. Rocket Launcher is how you need... A fire extinguisher, like three fire extinguishers in every room. I have made this mistake before. It was terrible. Um, he's Russian man. He's throwing. Excellent, so we now have Dr. Neuroside. Let's see what she has. She has Gather Minions, obviously. She has Poison Pour and Hallucinogen Powder. Brilliant. It's always good to have an evil genius. Well, another evil genius, I suppose, because naturally I am an evil genius, but another evil genius is more what I meant. I think we got that by now. Okay. Fun's low, really? Oh, wow, the research machine costs 100,000. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, funds are low. Well, we'll steal some money. We can steal money all over the place. Yeah, that should be enough money. We'll get a bit more. Okay. That'll definitely be enough money. Is someone building this? I imagine someone's building this. That's not the button I wanted. Here it is. Cool. Okay, with that coming in, we're going to fool the press. And that guy's just trapped himself. What an idiot. They'll get out when someone steals it. He did it to himself. I'm not going to help him. This is the breaking news regarding the recent theft of the Japanese research machine. The London Messenger newspaper reports that a notorious evil organization has claimed responsibility for the theft, promoting widespread concern for the global defense agencies who have all vowed to retrieve the technology. In other news, the London Messenger print works were raided last night, but nothing of value was taken. <laughs> nothing of value was taken. All we did was change the news to let you know, know who had stolen it. Okay, so there's a thief coming. What are they going to find? I love the way that th <gasps> they found it. What is this? Oh my goodness, is it the research device in the clear open? It looks awfully inflatable, but it's clearly what we wanted. Uh, she stole it. Can you believe this, people? She just stole it, and we couldn't stop her. Oh no. Oh. The problem is now we've got a ton of burglars on our island. But once it's stolen, then it's actually good. And we've got investigators, burglars. Uh, they're all coming to this room going, it's like, what, is she still looking for stuff to steal? I think she is. Well, we're getting $10,000 every 60 seconds, so that's good. Whoa! Whoa, 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 no. We've got a burglar literally... I don't think so. That is not something you're supposed to be able to steal. I mean, I was fine with you stealing, like, a fake machine, but stealing actually something I've stolen? I don't think so. Wow, what a dick. Who steals things that I have legally stolen? Do I legally steal them? I don't know. How am I supposed to know if something's legally stolen or not? You know what? I'm going to send my troops to... No, we need a friggin' laser. A frickin' laser, definitely. Okay. Dr. Neuroside can go as well. Oh, 
I can't remember which technology each one gives me, but I will be getting the other ones later, so it's not really a big problem. Um, wow, there's a lot of people in our base right now. Okay. That guy looks like he's stolen something. I don't trust that guy. What did you steal? The fake research machine has been stolen. Good. Oh, actually, I'm not sure he did steal anything. I may just be killing a guy for no reason. Whoops. Anyway, fake research machine has been stolen. <laughs> oh, well. Science, I suppose. Where has it gone wrong? We don't know. Okay, my rate of recruiting minions has been reset. That's okay, because we're getting a lot of money. We It'll be all fine in a few days. Like, we've just got to pick up some money that's just sitting around. Which I'm sure there is a lot of money that is just sitting around waiting to just be picked up. That guy just dropped a briefcase. A whole bunch of people just dropping briefcases of money on the island. Not sure why. I'm sure they have a plan, but... Okay. We're now $15,000. So long as no one steals anything, I don't really care. The good news is these guys are only really looking to steal things, and since they think they've stolen what I want, well, what they want, they'll just leave me alone now. Which you'd think after they took it off the island, they'd be like, hang on a second, this thing's inflatable! And they'd just not keep it, but clearly they don't realize. Maybe they just bring it back and go, wow, Japan is masters of inflatable technology. It's like Dragon Ball with Capsule Corp. Which, when you think about it, Capsule Corp really does sound like just an inflatable company. Uh, a couple. Well, one of my guards was killed, like stealing stuff. It's all right. I think this will be ready soon. I got a good feeling about this. Okay, people are being led out of the base now. That's promising. What I really want, actually, is a different type of gas. I don't really want to use the murder gas, because murder gas is actually a problem. What I want is, like, attention deficit gas, or smarts gas, or something that doesn't kill people. Attention gas would be good. Or stamina gas. Endurance gas would be actually even better. They're all gas. Like, we're just going to work on different types of traps once we get them. Murder gas, while hilarious, is just too dangerous. Because people get murdered. Uh, another two minutes of going before we get a frickin' laser. And then we do frickin' laser research. Uh, actually, we need to start recruiting minions at a faster pace. We do not really need to be recruiting one every second, though. It's probably too fast. Uh, also, we... Assuming I saw that right, we can build a blackboard now, which is odd, since I haven't found anyone... Who can train a a, sci a high level scientist? So we should probably start looking for them. Oh no, you should still be stealing. Hmm, that's actually a really good point. We should be finding a new scientist, a new type of scientist, because we can build the blackboard, the chalkboard rather, and that'll make a sci technician turn into a scientist. But until we get that, then we kind of 
not really going anywhere with it. I do want to upgrade my guards though. Friggin' laser in 20 seconds. Yes. Laser. Blue laser. I had to say that. No, I didn't have to say Oh, there's a scientist right there in Antarctica. Well, let's go get that scientist. Boop. This is Pacific FM, and I'm Larry Driscoll. Keeping you up to date with regional events from California all the way up to Alaska. The story on everyone's lips today is the big felony committed earlier. No one knows who's responsible yet, but everyone's got a theory. Isn't that right, Bill? <laughs> yeah, even the penguins in Alaska got a theory, Larry. Penguins are from the South Pole, Bill. Damn it, Larry. Why do you always show me up on air? Alright, so, now we've got a few things we need to do. We need to do research, that's fine. We need to start building our doomsday device. And to do that, we need to do a bunch of stuff. Um, and also we need to steal uber loot, which we will do that as well. No optional objectives as of yet. Uh, Uberloot, we have found there is the Eiffel Tower. We can also steal uh, Arthur's uh, Excalibur, which will be stolen as well. What else do we need to steal? Uh, the Mummy Sarcophagus, also good. Oh, a Spin Doctor, that's something we need to abduct at some point very soon. I'm wondering if I might want to just build a bigger guard station. One thing we do need is a bigger uh, research facility, and we'll have to do that very soon. But we do also need a large uh, a laser, so we're going to build that now, and it's going to cost more money than we have! Brilliant! That's bad news. Okay, so we know where three of the uber loots are. What do we need that for? Ah, to get money and to purchase a new island should the need arise. And that was part of our plan. Alright, these guys are just sort of wandering around, not doing a lot. Will enable you to Thank you. Not really what I wanted to look at. Actually, what I do want to look at, though... Is there was another thing that showed up before. No, it wasn't that. Wasn't that. Was it training? No. No. There was another thing we could build. Was it a picture of a laboratory? No, we already had that. Oh, okay, something showed up before, which I didn't click on, and now I don't know what it is. Oh well, whatever. I probably didn't want it anyway. Uh, he just walks straight into the death gas. Oh, that's gotten awkward in a hurry. And this valet, like, runs in. He's just like, what, what do I need to do? It's like, nothing anymore. They solved, solved the problem on their own. <laughs> um, that's right, we need a new power plant. I forgot we were doing that, because otherwise these things are going to start breaking themselves. Which, for the moment, is okay, but it could be a problem very soon if we don't fix it. Or, rather, build more power. Okay. How much are these things? $10,000 each? Yeah, right. Uh, I feel like we have made the exact same mistake we've made multiple times already. S stuff it. Door 
No, that's not really what I wanted to do, but thank you. Uh, okay, we're going to make it a bit bigger. Actually, let's make it a lot bigger. Because if we can just make one power room, then we can get rid of the other ones. And if we get rid of the old power generator rooms, then it's probably good. Because that'll clear up a bit of space here, and it'll clear up a bit of space all over the place, actually. Oh dear. Oh, definitely you have to die. What? Didn't we get six workers in here? No, we're still wanting them. They still haven't arrived. Where the hell are these workers? Oh, here they are. They're coming now. Good. But yeah, we're definitely going to be needing a lot of money soon. Which, as I said, not really a problem because we are collecting money now, but... Oh, these guys look scary. S poor smash soldiers. Okay, well they need to die. I guess I've angered smash somehow. Uh, saboteurs. Okay, here we go. Gonna go get a spin doctor. Uh, the million dollar bill. Oh yeah, I totally want that. That'd be amazing to have. Uh, is our laser up yet? No. Not yet. Give it time. We'll get a laser soon. The sooner I get my laser, the happier I'll be, though. Oh, I think that guy's going to go get it. Good. Get us a laser. Actually, I think I'm not going to destroy all the rooms. I think I'm just going to destroy this one. Although I'm going to need more capacitors. I can move the capacitors around. That's fine. Still working on getting the uh, scientist... Of course, when we get a scientist, we're going to need a blackboard. Because we're going to start needing to train new scientists. What are you carrying, buddy? What are you carrying? Are you carrying a laser? Ah, uh, yeah? But she's carrying a laser. He better be carrying a laser or I'll have his neck. Um, now they got another one of our guards. Scientist is still two minutes away. Close. Yep, that looks like a laser. Glorious. Honestly, I should have seen that coming. Uh, okay, so all... Sure, you know what, it'll be fine, we'll fix it in a moment. Okay, so now we're trying to research. Yeah, okay. I was unaware there was a speedrunning rule for... <laughs> Evil Genius. And I've forgotten doors again. Alright, yeah, we, we've got no power. Power will be along shortly. It's not like we needed it.
Yeah. Don't really need it, though. The game is pretty basic. Um, yeah, I suppose. You can look at it that way. All right, that should be powered back online. It is. Excellent. Yep, and that is something we're consolidating and fixing up as we go along. Because otherwise... Okay, there's two ways you can play this game, and I did try this the second way, uh, time I played this, where you build all of the <laughs> the low-heat rooms at the start, but in that case, what you end up doing is you start building like a super long corridor and making sure... Like, you put everything in the back, but at the start... You've got this huge corridor and there's nothing really happening in it to make sure the high heat rooms are not near the entrance. Uh, and as the game progresses, I think it's better to be moving stuff back, which is why we're building this power plant here, so we can start getting rid of them from the front. But that, that is something that, you know, you, you work on it. You don't just build a base in a day. And quite frankly, no one really gets beyond here. Excellent. Our scientist comes in. No, I'm, f I'm not going to admit my base is excellent, but I like it. It's home. It's a nice base. I call it home. <laughs> As you do. All right. Uh, we're going to need to move this capacitor over here. Because I don't particularly want this, these capacitors here anymore. Excellent. Uh, didn't really... Th I don't have a wind corridor system at the entrance. I did, but then I scrapped it because someone shot it and I couldn't be bothered having it anymore because it was actually causing more heat than anything else. Uh, it, oh, or you mean one that spins them around so you get free money. If you mean one that spins them around for free money, uh, no, I don't have one of those because I didn't want it. Uh, and if you're more referring to one that pushes them out of the door, the problem was it was pushing them into the door and would actually give them aggro when they normally wouldn't get anything. So, yeah... There's a couple of ways of looking at that. Alright, we're starting to get our science going, which is good. I always love that they're focusing usually more on that. Oh no, they're actually coming through here. Awesome, we get to kill people again. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Um, it gives you a lot of money doing that because you get the nefarious bonus and such. But at the same time, I feel that's kind... I mean, I know the game is simple as heck anyway, but I feel it's a little bit cheating. It's getting free money just because blowing them around in a circle. Uh, which... I mean, it's not cheating. It doesn't really matter. Because, as I said, the game's not hard to begin with, but if the game's not hard to begin with, I don't really need to make it easier for myself. That's my opinion, anyway. People are all the more welcome to disagree with it. Anyway, she should get some uh, experience fighting these guys. And we get our first scientist. Excellent. I don't know why we didn't build up like... Actually, because I forgot. Um, okay, excellent. And so... What I might do is turn one of these... Probably this power plant into... <sighs> I was thinking of turning this power plant into a extension of the training room up there, but it's really too small for that. Nah, not really. I just get to shoot more people. 
It's not like there's a lot to do most of the time anyway. Uh, okay, so that is done. We can probably leave here now. Uh, and I think we should start getting the Uber loot, which will... Do we start with... I think we should start with the Eiffel Tower. I think that's the correct action. Hey, an impact stress analyzer. We should build that. So we can analyze stress impact or something. We don't have the money for that. Okay. I don't have enough gold. I'm gonna need more gold. I'm gonna need eight valets. That's a lot of valets. Okay, we'll get nine. Nine should be enough. Um, why did my capacity go up so much? I did not build more... Oh, that's right, as your infamy increases you get more minions. I forgot about that. Alright, we do still need money. We're still getting a bit, but not nearly as much as I want to be seeing. Call this technician back. We could probably go send him over here. See what we can find there. Uh, spin doctor. Would we like a spin doctor? We'd love a spin doctor. What do we need? Four technicians, four guards. I could do that. Uh, four guard, uh, four workers, six guards. You know that's actually really easy to get. Let's just grab that one now. Well, we're just training our valets for the uh, Eiffel Tower. Oh, we got a tourist. We have a tourist. Brilliant. I always wanted a tourist right in the middle of our base. Uh, the good doctor is just chilling out, having a cigarette. Good work, Dr. Neuroside. This is what we hired you for, smoking in the base, in the science room. There's nothing really I need to put in this power plant room. I don't think there's any other types of rooms I particularly need. I mean, I could move the infirmary down here, but... I could move the infirmary down here and then move, make the staff room bigger. <laughs> shoot the tourist behind the shed. Yes. Should always shoot tourists behind the shed. Uh, they're just shooting at us. What? Oh, these are soldiers, damn it. I should have noticed they were soldiers. <laughs> I just thought they were just following us for the fun of it. Um. Yeah, you guys just run away. You'll be fine. Oh, you weren't running. You were going to go kill that guy. All right, well, go kill that guy instead. That's just as exciting. As long as people die, that's what I've always said. Um, no, oh, we lost our scientist. No. <laughs> he was plotting for so long for no actual reason. Okay, we might need to get Jubei. Where's Jubei? Oh, he's off on a mission for some stupid reason. Where did I put Jubei? That's one of those questions that it's always something you shouldn't be asking. You should always know where your Jubei is. I have no idea where my Jubei is. Jubei! Jubei! Where are you? We don't know. We should be alright with that, actually. Okay. Um. Where is Jubei? Oh, he's in India. Of course he is. Where else would you put the samurai? India, obviously. 
duh. Anyway, uh, we're going to cripple our funds doing this one, but that's fine. I mean, money is free in this game, essentially. Muffalos. That is... Don't starve, right? Wait, what? Hang on, I just thought about that. If that's don't starve, you can get an M16 and don't starve? I have really not played that game much. I've, like, barely scratched the surface. Like, I play it for a little bit, and I'm like, yeah, this game's fun, but then I just get distracted and go looking at cats. Hmm. Oh, that guy's causing trouble in the neighborhood. He got in one little fight, and his mom got scared, and then we killed his mom. Because... Fuck your mom out. They shouldn't really get far. They're pathetic, so... And they're just being completely destroyed. Ring... Uh, Rimworld. Oh, yeah. Okay. What are the things in... I've played a little bit of Rimworld. I have not really got into it. I, was, I bought it, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna... I'm going to wait and see what happens with that game. I'm not in any particular hurry to, f like, play too much of it. But yes, there are mufflers in Rimworld. Uh, Excalibur... Oh, there it goes. ...to the London nightly news broadcast. The legendary sword Excalibur was discovered just a few days ago by a remote Scottish lock, but has already been stolen by a notorious <coughs> evil organisation. Angus MacArthur, a leading authority on King Arthur, was there to witness the theft. A horde of minions broke through the police cordon at the archaeological site and started causing a rumpus. One minion tried to pull Excalibur out of the stone, but he couldn't do it, so they just took the stone with a sword still in it. <laughs> I respect the guy who tried to take the sword without, or just take the sword out of the stone. He secretly wanted to be king of uh, uh, Britain. I respect that man. You know, we're going to put this in the archives. No one will see it there, but it just makes sense. Dr. Neuroside and Jubei have become good friends already, I see. They're just wandering around. Uh, are we starting to get new scientists? Not yet. It's a slow process. Uh, what do we need here? Technicians and guards. Oh, I didn't actually get any guards here. That was a mistake. First uber loot requi acquired. You need three more. We're going to get all six. Because I believe...